to him just love him just love him just adore him hallelujah 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 tell him you are holy I sense the presence of the Lord filling this place right now. Come on, as you tell him with the angels, you are holy. The presence of the Lord is filling this place. You are holy. You are holy. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. says it's not by might nor by power but by your spirit that God's work is done come by your spirit tonight in the name of Jesus heal the hearts of men touch your people in the name of Jesus come on lift those voices Holy Spirit to lift your hands father we receive we receive I said we receive in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 come on somebody give him a hand of praise quickly quickly in this place hallelujah who is hungry for God tonight who wants his power tonight quickly take your seat Thank you, guys. The Bible says you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. I said, the Bible says, and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Let, let me try that one more time. I said, the Bible says, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, but you shall receive power. I'm going to speak to you this. I said, Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, You shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon us. Oh, how we need the Holy Spirit to come upon us. I said, how we need the Holy Spirit to come upon us right now and shake every form of religiosity, every doubt, every unbelief. Come on, ask the Holy Spirit, come upon me tonight. Shake everything that can be shaken by the power of God. Quickly look at me. The Holy Spirit will never force himself on any person. Do me a favor. Quickly sit closer. There's a lot of space here. I need people that will, people that will receive. Come sit up, up front. Don't be shy. That's where we want you, up front, where the glory of God is. I promise you, the power of God is not the same in the back as in the front. Trust me. It's different. There's seats open this side. Come. If you're hungry for God, come. Sit here in the front. Listen, let me say that again. The Bible says, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon us. This, this seat's open here. You can come sit there. We can even pack seats out for them this side for the Word of God. Amen. We want hungry people tonight, up close and personal. Let the fire of God hit you. And it's coming tonight. I said it's coming tonight. I said it's coming tonight. Who believes God for physical healing? Lift your hand. Physical healing. You're sick in your body. Lift your hand. Maybe deaf, maybe blind, maybe pain, whatever it is. All right? You're in the right place tonight. And I want you to hear me right now. You come and you receive your healing once. Jesus died for you for once and for all. Is somebody listening to me? Sickness is illegal in your body. 
All right, so now that we have people that's hungry in the front, let's say that again. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. When will you receive this power? After. Why does He come? To shake you off religion. To shake away doubt. To shake away fear. Come on, I'm speaking to somebody. To shake away depression. He's the one that takes your life, turns it upside down. When He comes to stay, you lose everything of this world. You don't want anything of this world. You want the power of God. Come on, you want to see Him. You want to know Him. You want to experience Him. That power comes, the Scripture says, after the Holy Ghost comes upon you listen tonight something must happen I, I I know that we have we have met with God last night that's not enough all right I'm speaking to you with we've, we've, we've met with God last night it's not enough come on people of God there's a depth of God that we have not yet reached how many of you want that depth how many of you want that fire of God we want the fire now as I preach the word of God something is going to happen to you all right hear me God is going to take this whole front where I'm walking. This is the river. And the glory of God comes. Whoever touches the river shall live. Hear me right now. Things are going to be broken off your life. You're going to receive new fire and new power and new zeal. I feel it already. It's already all over me. My goodness. Now. The Bible says the following in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 19. The scripture says, as they were prayed over, the power of God shook them. And they started speaking in other tongues. We need the baptism of the Holy Ghost tonight. Listen to me. Who has never been baptized with the Holy Spirit? Lift your hand high. That means you have, you're not speaking in tongues. You're not praying in tongues. Lift those hands. Don't be shy. You're at the right place tonight. Tonight, we pray and trust God that God will baptize you. With the Holy Ghost. I pray it will be like it was in Cornelius' house. That God will shake households, families by the power of God tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. God, I want you to agree with me. God will shake my family tonight. Come on. God will shake my husband. He will shake my wife. He's going to shake my children. Everything that can be shaken shall be shaken by the power of God. We will not leave this place as we came. Revival fire. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, it says they assembled together and they were praying together. And as they prayed together, this is what the scripture says. The place was shaken by the power of God. Again, the place was shaken by the power of God. That shaking is coming tonight. Hallelujah. Put those hands together if you believe it. Now, I want to deal on something tonight. You know, I was speaking about the Holy Spirit the other day, and I, I said the Scripture speaks about the Holy Spirit within. Who remember that? Tonight, I want to go a little bit on the Holy Spirit upon. Is that fine? Because the Bible teaches us, Jesus says that the Spirit of God will come, and He will come in three ways. He says He will be with you, and He will be within you. And then Acts 1, 8 says, and you shall receive power. Now, Church of Jesus Christ, hear me right now. Any church without the power is going to cave in this hour. Mark my words. Jesus Christ is raising up a supernatural church. They have replaced the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher with life coaches and motivational speeches. Let me say that. I'm going to say to this side. They took the fivefold ministry and they've exchanged it for life coaches and motivational speeches. But we, we really need the power of God. While we are being motivated week after week, Satan is running rampant in the churches. People are going to hell without Jesus Christ. They don't see miracles no more. They don't see the glory of God no more. Why? Because we have settled for Ichabod. We've settled for the glory of God that has been departed. And people don't even know that God's glory has left the building. We need the glory of God back upon our lives. Okay, I'm speaking to somebody. We need that power to come upon us afresh. And do you know when you become a carrier of that power, the people around you become seekers. Seekers of the power of God. They want what you have. Because the Holy Spirit comes and He turns you upside down. Now the Bible says this, and I'm going to take you to the scripture just now, but God was finished with Israel. Israel was, 
was so full of sin, and they came in a fight in a war with the Philistines. And do you know what they said to one another? They said, our forefathers had the, the Ark of Covenant, the tabernacle of God, the presence of, of God. The presence of God brought victory to our forefathers. Hear me right now. They saw power. They saw miracles. They saw breakthrough in the desert. Let us go and get the Ark of Covenant and bring it to the war field. Maybe God will help us then. What they did not know was God says, I'm cutting you off because of sin. And here's the thing what Israel has done. Israel used the Ark of Covenant as like a, like a lucky charm. You know, for the Catholics, they have the Mother Mary and the Jesus on the cross symbol. Like a lucky charm, they hang it around their chest and they protect it. Israel treated the glory of God that same way. The glory of God, the presence of God. And they said, if it's in the battlefield, we're going to win. And the Bible says, God allowed the enemies to strike Israel. And they lost this battle. And what happened here, and I'm going to read it now, but here the Philistines steals the Ark of Covenant. This means they stole the presence of God and they took it back to their land. And here's the thing, they put it in a room with a, a God called the Gon. And here the presence of God stands and here's a statue right next to it called the Gon. The Bible says the next morning when they walked into this room, here's the Gon on his face. Now, I want you to hear me. <laughs> a statue stands next to the, the Ark of Covenant, and when they walked into this room, the statue is face down. I think that they had a fright of their lives before. Who, who, who knocked over this thing? And they picked it up, back up. And the next morning when they walked in, the scripture says, yes, the God, not just on his face, but his whole head is off. And then they knew, listen, my goodness, God's presence has done this. You see, this is the powerful thing. Everything must bow in the presence of God. Now, here's the thing. Israel treated, Israel treated the presence of God like the Philistines did, treated the gun. They thought that it's like a statue, you know? Many people today in the church treat the presence of God like they treat the gun. They treat the presence of God like a lucky, like a lucky charm. Whenever they need God, maybe we have to get the presence of God. And here's God saying, this is why Jesus says in Revelation, this I have against you. That you have left your first love. Israel left their first love, they lost the glory of God. Hear me, look me in the eyes. If when we lose the glory, we lose everything. I'm not talking to you about goosebumps, people. I'm talking to you about God ruling and reigning in your life. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now I want to read you a scripture. Open your Bibles with me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 4 and verse 13. And I want to I wanna teach you on something tonight, and I don't know how long it's going to be because God is in this place. Now, quickly, before, as, you, as you turn to 1 Samuel, I need to tell, tell this to somebody. Miracles are happening even now. Amen. Breakthroughs are happening even now. Amen. There's some people, you're taking it. I see it on your face. I can see faith on your face. I see how people draw from the glory of God. I, let me say this again. There's breakthroughs. Some of you came here for answers. Get into the glory, and your story will change forevermore. 1 Samuel chapter 4. Now when he came, there was Eli sitting on his seat by the wayside watching. I want you just to understand, Eli was a, uh, uh, the scripture speaks about him as a high priest. He was always at the temple. So Eli was accustomed to the glory of God. And he, re, there was news reported that the glory of God is coming. He was waiting for the glory of God to come. And listen to this. As, as he was sitting on his seat by the wayside watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. When last, before we, I'm going to continue, when last did your heart tremble for the presence of God? The scripture where it says his heart trembled for the ark of God speaks about a holy fear, a reverence, a love that his heart was trembling on the inside of him because he has heard the glory of God comes. Today we say the glory of God is here and people stand like this. Back then they trembled. Eli was a high priest. He knew how to deal with the presence. This is why his heart was trembling. He knew one, one, one foot out of way, I'm dead. The Bible says, and when the man came into the city and told it, all the city cried out. 
So Eli was waiting for the glory of God, but a man came to report the ark is stolen. The Bible says now when he came there, okay, go on, please, next one. Then it happened when he made mention of the ark of God that Eli fell off the seat backward by the side of the gate and his neck was broken and he died for the man was old and heavy and he had judged Israel 40 years. When he heard the glory of God is gone, he fell off his seat and broke his neck and died. I wanted you to hear me quickly. He loved the glory of God so much that when he heard the glory of God was stolen, the power of God hit him off his seat. He was, um, he, listen to me, I believe that his heart caved in. People, think, uh, uh, people really think he just dropped dead. No, I believe his heart caved in. He fell backwards. He broke his neck. He died immediately because the glory has departed. Now, I want to uh, jump a couple of verses. Now, his sons just died. He received news that his sons died. The thing that bothers him is that the glory of God left. I'm going to speak to you this side. Both of his sons died in the war. He received news that his sons is dead. He received news that the ark of God is, is, is away. It's lost. It's stolen. He felt dead because the loss of the presence of God, not because of his sons. He placed a bigger value on the glory of God than on anybody around him. Then listen to the next verse, verse 18 to 22. Then it happened when he made mention of the ark of God that Eli fell off the seat backward by the side of the gate. Uh, I want to go to verse 19 in the actual fact. Now his daughter-in-law, one of his son's wives, heard the news that her husband is killed. It says she was with child due to be delivered. And when she heard the news that the ark of God was captured, that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself, she bowed herself, gave birth, for her labor pains came upon her. The minute she heard the glory of God is gone, she went into labor. I said, the minute she heard the glory of God is gone, she went into labor. The Bible says, and about the time of her death, the woman who stood by her side said to her, Do not fear, for you have born a son. But she did not answer, nor did she regard it. Yes, she gives, she gives birth to a child. The woman around her says, Don't worry, you have a son. She does not care about the son. Listen to what it says. Go on. Then she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory has departed from Israel because the ark of God had been captured and because of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, the glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of God has been captured. This woman died when she heard the glory of God is gone. She went into such labor, she couldn't handle it. She died, the child lived. And she called the child Ichabod. Ichabod means the glory has departed. This woman died of a broken heart. She couldn't handle giving birth to this child. She went into so much labor because of the glory of God that is gone. Let me quickly tell you this. So many people go to church Sunday after Sunday and they have Ichabod written all over their foreheads. They walk around with the world owes them something. They walk around with bitterness and hatred. They've lost their joy. Ichabod, come on. They walk around with Ichabod and they don't even know that the glory of God has left them. Samson had the same problem. The glory of God left him. He did not know that the spirit that which was upon him once left him forever. And they killed him. This woman, when she heard that the, 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 the glory of God is gone, she went into labor. I want to tell the church, I believe that the labor pains is here. Yeah. I believe that the labor pains is here. We are giving birth not to Ichabod. The Lord is busy reversing the curse. We are not giving birth to Ichabod, but we are giving birth to Kabat. The enemy has, has allowed the church to believe that it's okay with just a good sermon, but no presence of God. Listen to me, people of God. The presence of God, when it comes, it prospers you. It changes everything inside and out. Eli was so accustomed to the presence of God that when he heard it's gone, he died. If God, the Bible says, if God re removes his spirit, man will return back to dust. Listen to me, this woman gave birth. 
She had birth pains. I see it in the spirit. My goodness. Last night we were crying out, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. How many of you know that? It did not rain. It poured. I'm telling you here tonight in the name of Jesus, somebody's about to give birth to something in the spirit. And it's not called Ichabod. It's called the Gabot glory of God. You will not leave this place and say that the glory has departed. You will leave this place and you will dance like David danced and says the ark has finally returned home. These people, you're sitting here under the sound of my voice, you better hear me. The ark of God is gone in your house. But this is not the way you're leaving this place. God is about to break my God. everything that has kept you in bondage will be broken off you in the name of Jesus. And the kabob glory of God is coming back. People asked me last night, what happened? I couldn't get up. That's called the kabob glory. Kabob means the right Hebrew language. The word for it, it says kavot. Kavot, it means the kabob glory. It's a weighty presence. It weighs down on your shoulders. Hear me right now. When the ark of God was taken and David wanted to bring it back to the city, Uzzah, the scripture says, here they are pushing the cart. And Uzzah is touching the ark of God. As he touched the ark of God, bang, he died. David said, there's no way that I can take this ark to my house. I'm going to die. He said, is there somebody that will cater for the ark of God? Is there a family that will open up their house? Is there a family that will just make room for the glory of God? If I take it home right now, Lord, I don't know what's going to happen, but maybe there's a family. Maybe there's somebody that says, Lord, here I am. I'll never say no to you, Lord. Oh, no, yeah. maybe, maybe you hear me this side. My God. Is there a family? Is there a family? Is there a family that can just bring in? And, and, and the Bible says, Abed Edom says, we are that family. We are that family. Everybody was afraid. Everybody says, this is unknown territory. I don't know this glory. Come on, I come from the English kerk af. I just owe up I don't know this. I don't know what's happening. And there's a family. And they said, bring it to my house. My soul faints after the courts of the Lord. Bring it to my house. I think David was so excited. Thank you. The Bible says when the, the Ark of Covenant came into Albert Edom's house, something changed in his life. <laughs> you didn't hear me. The Bible says he prospered for three months. His business that was collapsing, suddenly is thriving. The marriage that is busy falling apart, suddenly this new life. Come on, that ministry that was dead, suddenly it revived. Dry bones came alive and bang, the power of God came into that house. And blessed him so severely that news started spreading about the blessing of God. Listen to me. When the glory of God touches you, people will take notice of your life. News will spread. God has done something for them. Why does God release the power upon you so that you can be a witness? You better write this down. I'm prophesying this to you. The final hour, the church will no longer be mocked. The church will no longer just be tolerated. But the church will become an entity that will be dealt with. You better hear me. God is going to, and this is not the lukewarm church. It's not the church that's sitting on the fence. It's not the church that want to be politically correct. It will be the church that is sold out to the king and the kingdom of God. It will be a church on fire. A church that will not apologize for the move of God's spirit. A church that will not apologize for holy living and separation and consecration. It will be a church. That God will say, I will, Holy Spirit, there will be a huge division in the final hour between the real church and the false church. I believe the hour is here where people will walk into church and they will know God is not here no more. They will come and be hungry. I hear it in my spirit. The hour is here where people will cry out. 
they will be so hungry, so desperate for the Holy Spirit. And as they call out to the, to the living one, I believe that he will gather those from the north and the south and the east and the west. And they will become carriers of the glory of God. Listen to me, we will not just be a people that will speak about the glory. It will be all over you. It will be in your house. You will walk in your house and your heart will tremble. The hour is upon us. You better lift those hands and say, Lord, start with me right now. Abed Edom, the Bible says, I'm nearly done. The Bible says Abed Edom was so blessed. He prospered. David heard the news that God's glory is not there to kill you. But there is a way to handle it. And David said, all right, let's bring back the glory of God. He was so blessed. Why do I expose you to the presence over and over and over and over and over? Because that's what brings the blessing. That's what brings the, brings the change. I can tell you all the nice stories in the Word, but when I, when I present the person to you, everything is different. I said everything is different. The Bible says now suddenly there's a change. They do not no longer push the presence of God on cards. They put it on their shoulders. Like it's used to carry. The protocol of God's glory is not to be pushed around. Hear me right now. The protocol of God's glory is to carry on man's shoulders. That's the kabod glory of God. Is someone listening to me? I feel that kabod glory right now. And the Bible says as they were walking back to Jerusalem, David was dancing. They were playing music in the presence of God. It did not stop there. Abed, Abed Edom suddenly received the promotion. Here he becomes the gatekeeper to the Father's house. He was the one that opened up the gate for people to experience the glory of the Lord. You know when you become a caterer for the glory of God, there's promotion. I'm Abed Edom tonight. God placed me at the gate. To say, open the gate. Let the people experience me in a new way. He like died. Because the glory of God departed, yet we as God's people are happy going to meetings where there's no power, there's no presence. You know how many calls we get from other churches? I don't bad enough other churches. I just say it as it is, from other churches folks, and say, can you pray for us? We are sick. We are dying. We ask the, where's your pastor? Oh, well, he, he, he's, no, he's not walking in that, you know. Or he's not praying, you know. Or he's on the golf course. My question to them is, what are you doing there? Why are you happy with Ichabod? Why are you happy with the glory of God that has departed? I say this again and again and again. I would, I would drive two hours to a church that is on fire with the glory of God. Then drive five minutes to the house of the chosen frozen international house of the faith. Because if this Bible is not demonstrated, it's not real. Shout with me the glory. I said, shout with me the glory. You can see when Ichabod has come, people's countenances fall. They lose their joy absolutely. They feel far away from God. God is not far away from you. Hear me quickly tonight. The Bible says you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. From the beginning of time, we were supposed to be carriers. Of the Kabbad glory of the Lord. This protocol to, to follow. For the glory of God to remain upon a man. This is why John teaches us very clearly that when the Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove, he remained. It's the only gospel that teaches that the Holy Spirit remained. So many people don't realize that the Holy Spirit no longer remains. I want to say, I want to make a bold, bold statement. I believe very, very soon. If I say very soon, I don't think there's a, there's a word that I can use tonight that will describe what God is showing me. It will be like very soon. Like we're going to see the Lord in the sky. Hear me tonight. I know that for a fact. Because why we do what we do tonight and for the next 30 days is to prepare the remnant for the return of Jesus Christ. 
people mock me. They say, well, you, you know, we've heard that Jesus is coming back. The Bible in, in the book of Peter also says the same. They say they mocked our forefathers and says, where is the coming of the Lord? Since we were young, we've heard about the coming of the Lord. He's coming back in all glory and in all splendor. And I want you to hear me. You know, God can do it without us. He does not want to do it without us. This is why he wants to raise up people that will be carriers of revival, the carriers of the glory of the Lord. You know, I say this, I don't say this prideful or, or anything, but when I look at the world, I thank God I'm saved. Those in the world, there's no hope. They are depressed. They are defeated. They are broken down. Come on, they are defeated. But we who are in Christ Jesus, we are the head and we are not the tail. Come on, we are victorious. We are not just conquerors. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The people of the world don't know what's next, what's coming next. We know what's coming next. Behold and look up for your redemption has drawn near. But right now, we're going to occupy until Jesus returns. We're going to take more territory than ever before. I, I, I get the stats. Every week I see the stats. You know, people are downloading my sermons all over the world. Do you know why? Because He's coming back for them. What if I tell you, those in this building, God has you on His mind. Okay, let, let, me, let me go a little bit deeper. What if I tell you, everybody that came to this meeting tonight, the Holy Spirit wants to save your soul before you die and before Jesus returns. It is impossible for you to be here tonight unless you have been drawn by the Holy Ghost. And not just drawn for any reason, but drawn to pour out His power upon you, to tell you that Ichabod is no longer, you're about to give birth to the greatest move of God that this world has ever seen. You have to quickly lift your hands. I feel the glory of the Lord. I pray tonight, Lord, this whole front section will be submerged by the power of God. I feel the healing fire in my left hand. My goodness. We can lift those hands with me. Tonight you have to get rid of Ichabod. I don't want to continue with the message. I want to follow what the Holy Spirit tells me to do. Too many people, Ichabod is written all over you. You've lost your joy. You've lost your zeal. You've lost your passion. Take it completely away, guys. But tonight, God wants to restore His glory. I know there's a lot of people that said to you, you don't feel worthy of the power and the presence of the Lord. You are shy. What will people think about me? Quite frankly, we don't care what people think. We just know that if He does not touch us, if He does not change us, this 50 days of revival means nothing. This is not just for this church. This is for South Africa. This is for the world. Now, I, I promise you this. I feel the fire of God in my left hand. I know exactly the minute that Jesus steps in. And when He steps in, everything is different. Everything is different right now. Do me a favor. I want you to start to pray in the Spirit. Come on, pray in tongues all over this place. Come on, lift those voices. Come on, don't stop. Don't be quiet. I want to hear you pray. You can't pray in tongues, pray in English, pray in Afrikaans, pray in Sutu, pray in Kosa, pray in whatever language you want to pray. But love those voices for two minutes long. Come on, in one accord, our prayer is Acts chapter 4, that the place will be shaken by the power of God. Consider this holy, consider this holy ground. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Baromo ko shakaravanda. Tonight, God is going to break off the clutches of hell from your life. Tonight, tonight, that God will break off the clutches of hell from your life. Every dem demonic oppression broken, every demonic possession broken by the power of God. Please don't stop praying. 
Marobo Shakara Mahni Kiliri Bashako. Montorobo. Come on, lift those hands, both hands. Stand to your feet quickly, guys. Lift those hands to heaven. You will feel the power of God coming over you in that seat. Come on, there's people that feel a heat from the heads to the soles of their feet. There's a heat running through your body. The power of God is hitting you right now. Come on, all across this place. Get ready, guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. This is here right now where, where sickness is being healed. Whoa. Quickly search your heart. Search your heart. If you always find folding, it's Ichabod. If you're always negative, it's Ichabod. Search your heart. Say, Jesus, I want to return to my first love. Please, guys, don't stop praying. You have to pray. Matoromo Sakara Bahandi Iramahando Robo Shekherimand Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, pray, pray, pray. Ah Jesus, I give you praise. I give you glory. Every eye closed, please. Every hand lifted. The Lord is here, people. Touch the hem of His garment. Forget the people around you. Touch the hem of His garment. you've been through the Lord loves you the Lord loves you just say to him Lord I'm running back to you tonight I've been away but I'm running back to you listen to me in the next five minutes the power of God is gonna come his presence is here let's just continue praying come on just continue loving him if there is somebody with a, a blind eye, a deaf ear, somebody with, with, with severe back issues, quickly run to the front before the power of God is going to hit this place. He's going to heal you. Blind eye, deaf ear. Quickly run to the front. There's a person with, we saw the other day how the Lord has grown somebody's leg out. Speaking to you, quickly come. Cancer, quickly get here to the front. Church, please don't stop praying. This is a revival. Revival does not happen if there's no prayer. Can we put that on the stage? Quickly find out for me. Is it back? Okay, head on. Again, I say this. Ear, I. Cancer, there's pain in your body, quickly come. Let's lift your legs. Just instead of. Can, can we just turn around if you don't mind? Just for the camera's sake. There we go. Okay. Sit so rach op as you can, okay? I'm pushing back her legs. Okay, look at this. Can we see it? On, look at the screen, guys, if you can't see me in the front. Everybody, I want you to count of three. Say Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. There it goes. One more time. One more time. Jesus. Come, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Jesus. Come. Jesus. Come. Whoa, <laughs> Come. Jesus. Whoa. 
Ja, echt voel op, vloem mij. Come one more time. One more time. Come on, one more time. One more time. Perfect. Come on, give him a shout of praise in this place. Stand to your feet, take away that chair, lift your hands. Woo! That's the fire of God. Take it in Jesus' name. Come on, can somebody shout hallelujah in this place? Lift those hands, come on. We worship you tonight. My God, I feel the fire of the Lord here. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Are you Lord God? Oh my Worthy is the Lamb. If there's any person who have joined issues, quickly get to the Lord's gonna heal you. Continue to sing, continue to sing. Makorobo, holy. Are you Lord God? Oh my Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the we're going to do it different we're going to do it different tonight God's glory is going to touch you you're going to start to move when I tell you and every form of pain will be gone each one of you standing in the front in front of me God's going to heal tonight come on worship him worship him worship him worthy is the man you are holy Anybody on the spot? I just heard the Lord say to me, people will lose weight supernaturally here tonight. Huh? Give me five minutes. I'm going to call you out now. And we will, listen to me. It's going to happen here tonight. You in the front, lift those hands quickly. Every joint pain, I curse it. You fell spirit of infirmity. I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out of these bodies. Let them go right now. Do what I'm telling you. Start to move your feet. Come on, you just seat, start to pray. Come on, everybody in the front, start to move your feet. This is what the Lord shows me. Move those feet, move those knees. Come on, lift those up. Come on, follow what I'm telling you. Five, five, lift those knees, lift those knees, lift those knees by faith, by faith. Now run in Jesus' name, run in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. Is there pain? Is there any pain? Oh, we've got to take that out. Foul spirit of deafness. I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out, let her go. Woo! Open up. Somebody, give Jesus a shout of praise. Check if you have any pain in your body at the moment. 
Bring over my stool. Glory, here I can do for you. Come on, stretch out your hands towards me. Sit on me on here. Just sit here. The ankle can't do this. I'm trusting God to do a miracle here right now. Father, in Jesus' name. Your word says, whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever be, shall be loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I loose this foot right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, loosen up. Loosen up. Bewego. Bewego. Move it in Jesus' name. I, I felt a crack in your foot. Come on. Come on. No more, Lord. No more. No more. Tickle. <laughs> Listen, God is here, people. Fire of God is on you. The fire of God is all over you. Come on, quickly. Woo! There's the fire of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Touch Him. No more pain. I rebuke it. I rebuke it all over you. Lord Jesus, no more pain. We curse it in the name of Jesus. Oh. Come on, can we glorify Him? Come on, I need the music to go up. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Come on, holy. Come on, holy. I come on, pain to go. What do you feel? I rebuke it. No more. Come on, let him go. Loosen him tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, receive your miracle of our faith. Are you Lord God? Are you Lord God? God touch your physical body especially when you struggle to lose weight come and you, you can't be shy because you're going to lose weight and as you come out before you come out I want you to check your waist check your pants check your clothing because the glory of God is here you have to do something you have to pray with me how is this possible in his glory anything is possible come out by faith expecting to receive Expecting to receive. Why is there more women out here? You can't be shy now. Something's going to happen. I feel the glory of the Lord. Now lift your hands to heaven and be specific. My goodness, I feel that glory. Be specific. Ask the Lord exactly how much weight you want to lose. Lord, the word says all things are possible to those who believe. I knew tonight was going to be a night of miracles. Come on, you ask the Lord. If I see the glory of God, I'm going to, I'm going to pray. Are you Lord God Almighty? Be very specific. Worthy is the Lamb. After this, God's glory is going to fall in the seats. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. I want somebody that's got a belt on. Yeah, that power of God's here. Yeah. Bring up, up stage. Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Check your waist. God is doing something in your body. Oh no, she's under the glory of the Lord. Oh, the glory, the glory, the glory. 
Okay, give me your hands. More, I command it. I command supernatural weight loss in the name of Jesus. We're gonna test it now. I want somebody with a belt. Who's got a belt on? Who's got a belt on here in the front? I don't want to hit somebody. I want to. Let's come. Come on, church, pray. The Lord is doing something powerful in this woman's body. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Supernatural. Supernatural. To my friends, more about so stay fast as you can. Pray, pray, pray. Makorobo Shanda. Whoa. Come on, he's here right now. This is holy. Go. Okay. Give me your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come on supernatural weight loss. Right now, there it goes. There goes the power of God through these hips. Jesus name Jesus name see this fire here this fire here right now right now this fire here do that for me kijk gaan your broek look at that can you move stay with mark can you move stay with mark come on this is Jesus this is the Lord okay keep it there look at this in the name of Jesus more I command the supernatural transformation power there it goes we're gonna taste it again check for me <laughs> come here sir Why do I do this to build your faith? Lift your hands, Lord. I, oh, I thank you. Mr. Bauer, yeah, my God, I give you praise. I give you glory. Supernatural, Jesus. Supernatural. Supernatural weight loss. I command it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's not natural, it's supernatural. It's not natural, it's supernatural. Check on here. There's no more holes. Say, see, that's not my gaiki, Sni. Come on, can we give Jesus praise? Tell him go for me. You down there, be specific. Check your broek. Can you belt faster, Mark? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, I can. <laughs> can you, can you, can you tie it more? Is it possible? Try to pull it. Okay, keep it there. My God can do anything. Supernatural. More, Lord. More, Jesus. Touch him. Let the fire of God touch him. What's what God's going to do? Come on, you pray. I'm going to no check. Pray. Father, every single one I ask you for. Supernatural weight loss. Supernatural. I can no touch. I feel the power of God. The fire of God, supernatural weight loss, supernatural. Do it supernaturally, Lord Jesus. Do it separate. It's all over. The fire of God. Supernatural weight loss. Supernatural. Supernatural. It's done. Tell the hope. Do you do that with you for now? Take your broke. Take your waist. More. More. Supernatural, Lord, do it supernaturally. Thank you, Jesus. Supernatural. 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 It's supernatural, Lord. Supernatural, Jesus. Lord, supernaturally. 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 The fire of the Holy Spirit. That's these bodies. Supernaturally, Jesus. Supernaturally. Supernaturally, Lord. 
Aí vou fazer isso e tu te. Traga na remensa do. Bom, que fazia o bruco. Traga os teus de cá. Aí se ele sai do dó, se me cai que se. How many kilograms do you want to lose? How many kilograms do you want to lose? What's what? 20 kilograms. Do you believe that by the help of the Holy Spirit you can do that? Yes. Give me your hand. I'm agreeing with you. Father, I thank you. I'm standing in agreement. Yes. With the help of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Everything in this body come in alignment with the Word of God right now. Thank Touch you, this Lord. body supernaturally, Jesus. Thank you, supernaturally. Supernaturally. Come on. As I pray for him, I heard in my heart. There's people trusting for their families to be saved, to be impacted by the power of God. If you're one of them, line yourself up here in the front. God's going to touch your family tonight. My God. Everybody else, lift your hands in your seats. We surrender to Him tonight. We've got a few more minutes. God wants to change everything for you. There's people that came out that God's going to use in a powerful way I'm trusting God for importation tonight let him touch you I want everybody in this whole building let's just yield to him acknowledge your presence here thank you for every miracle if you receive the miracle tonight get fed with the word continuously don't run empty of the word lest the enemy comes in with something worse Continue to be filled with the Word of God. I'm telling you right now, the gift of faith is in operation. I smell faith. I smell it here tonight. Whenever you walk in faith, it's a sweet smelling aroma to God. Because without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Holy are you Lord God Almighty Worthy is the Lamb Come on quickly, sir, but surrender Worthy, Worthy is, is the Lamb You are, you are holy yeah. Holy Are you Lord God people are standing in front of me it has been ichabod in your life for a while the glory has departed you do not even know it tonight god wants to touch stone cold hearts he want to take the heart of stone pluck it out of you give your heart of flesh these people standing here you 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 hardly cry in the presence of the lord and as you submit to him tonight he's going to touch your heart He's going to touch your heart. All across this place, yield to Him. Let there be nothing that will hinder the move of the Spirit right now. As you lift your hands, you ask the Lord, I want to return to my first love. Let your glory come back in my life. Let it be established in my household. Let my family through my life be impacted by the power of God. Touch my family right now. Come on, you ask him, save my daddy. Save my mother, Lord. Save my sister. Save my brother. Come on, cry out for your family right now. I'm telling you in this glory, God's going to do it. Cry out, save my children, Lord. Save my grandbabies. Come on, quickly, 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 quickly. Makorobo shakarabanda. Wage war in the heavenlies. Tell the devil you can't have my father. You can't have my mother. You can't have my husband. You can't have my wife. You can't have my children. Come on, tell every demon in hell. Take your hands off my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we are trusting you for a harvest of souls 
Holy Spirit, I'm asking you for a harvest of souls. There's some of you standing here, you'll receive calls. I'm coming to church with you. I'm coming to church with you. What's that telephone? It's coming. What's that telephone? It's coming. Don't stop, please, guys. Come on. Every time we stop, we do this. We can only go up. Makorobondo. Montorobo. The devil can no longer have your family. Come on, in the glory of God. Tell the devil you can't have my children. You can't have my dreams. You can't have my hopes. You can't have my peace. Miracles to happen here, Lord. Miracles in families. Deploy your angels tonight, Lord. Bring forth the harvest of souls. You are holy. Holy, holy, holy. holy. Are you, Lord God? God. Where's the glory, Lord? Show me the glory, Lord. Show me the glory, Lord. Makoro Moshanda. Lift those hands quickly. In the name of Jesus, all over this place, let your fire fall down. No more old wine. New wine. Also no longer in old wine skins, but in new skins. Lift your hands. Come all across from the front to the back. It's the fire of God. It's falling on people. I see tears flowing all across this place. God's presence is busy touching hearts. There's a change coming to your life. You will never be the same again. I see the glory of God on this lady. She, I want you to bring her to the stage. The one in, in the front, in the red. Come and experience His glory. Just lift your hands. Just stop there. Just stop there. You ask the Lord. Touch me. It's all over you. It's all over you. Fortunate, come. The cloud is here, right here, guys. Come on, everybody. Continue pray, continue yielding. There's a glory cloud of God here. No, no, just, 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 just stop, 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 stop. Ask the Lord, ask the Lord. Don't bring them this far. It's right there. Only those who I see the glory of God on their faces. Oh, my God is my here. My goodness. There's fire here, Lord. There's fire here. There's fire here. If you see the, the glory of God on them. My God. Bring that young man there in the gray. Come on, everybody. You in the seats, pray. There's such a power of the Lord here. As you come up, you lift your hands. You ask the Lord to touch you. Step into this glory. Step into the glory. Wrong one, but in any case, ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him, ask the Lord. The young guy in the gray. Come on, such a holy presence. Lift your hands, lift your hands, just, just there, just there. Lift your hands. Enter the glory cloud. Come, you ask him, you ask the Lord, you ask him. Touch me. Come, ask him, ask him. Go deeper, go deeper with the Lord. Touch. Ah. Come on, ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him. Touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. This is fire here. All right, Lord. Bring Jessica up. 
Oh. Uncle Denzel, this glory here. Everybody in your seats, God's going to touch you. Lift your hands, just there. Ask the Lord to touch you. Say, Lord, I want to see your glory. There the presence of the Lord is. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Touch the Lord. There it goes. Touch the Lord. One more time. This is holy. You see, it's different than last night. The Kabbat glory of God is here. This means... I can't even stand on my feet. I, I can't even tell you what I feel. This is the Kabbat. Bring Bertha up. Bertha, as you touch the steps, God's going to touch you. Now, now, right now. Lift your hands right now, right now, right now, right now, all over. That's the glory. That's the glory. Kabbat glory. Softly, holy, are you Lord God? Come on, Dad. I want to ask my dad, come up, come this way up. Worthy is the land, everybody. Worthy is the land, you are holy. If you're on the stage, ask him, touch me. Are you Lift your hands, the power of God is here. Softly. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Touch. Touch him now, 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 now. You are holy. Holy. Tell him, Marty, where are you? I heard your name in my ear. Come. Are you Lord God? Where's my mom? Quickly, come this side. Rihanna, come this side. Miriam, come. As they get to the steps, keep them there, one for one. The glory of God. Go that side. Holy. Softly. Just and softly. Holy. Ask him, ask him. There we are. Are you Lord God? Lift your hands. Stop, 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 stop. Why stop? Because God wants to touch them. There it goes. Yes, there it is. Worthy is the land. You are holy. There it is. He's touching you right now. Holy, holy. Are you Lord God? It's all over you, Rihanna. The glory of God is shining all over you. Worthy, worthy. It's the car of his presence here. You are now. <sighs> Their lives will never be the same again. Touch Rihanna, Lord. Oh. One. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's why people. Oh, more, 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 more. You are holy. 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 Very softly, there's glory. Are you Lord God? The Kabbalah glory of God. Don't rush it, people. Don't rush it. This is glory. I'm telling you, here's a cloud of the presence of the Lord here. When that cloud comes in, where's Wayne? Wayne, come. Come that way. As I call people out, leave everything right there at the altar. You come and experience the glory. Bring him this side. All right. There, there we go. Worthy is the Lamb. Don't stop, Justin. You st- don't stop. You follow. You just softly. You are holy. 
Wayne, the glory of God to all of you. Are you Lord? Looking for those I see the glory of God. Worthy, Worthy is, is the Lamb. Rianel, come. Come that way. God said to me tonight there will be a cloud of His glory on the stage. As you come up the stage, you ask the Lord to touch you. There's fire. There's the fire. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Christy, come. You are holy. Can you help come? The glory of God's on you, sir. Oh, you Lord God. In the cloud, in the cloud. As they come, Lord, touch them as you promised me. You should lift your hands, the five gods. Oh, oh there it is. Breathe fresh fire. Bring on, bring up, up, come. Are you Lord God? Surrender to Him, it's not you. There's the power of God. Worthy is the Lamb. Lift your hands, sir. Lord, as He hungers for you, touch Him, I pray. There it is, there's the fire. Touch Him right now. From His head to the soles of His feet. Come on, ask him, ask him, Lord, touch me, touch me, touch me. Worthy, come on, church. Worthy is the Lamb. That's the fire. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. That's the fire. The glory, the glory, the glory. As you step on the steps, you just yield to the glory. Mark, come, the five gods, all of you, sir. Can I ask the whole church just with us? Continue praying. This is holy. This is God's glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, in Jesus' name. There it is. That is the glory. Just don't rush the presence. It's all over here. When you're here on the stage, allow God to do a deep work in you. Get to the stage, you Jacob. Lord, I'm not letting you go tonight. Not until I'm different. Not until I'm blessed. Not until I'm changed. Mom, just stand there. Just stop. Mom, Ria. Ria. Lift your hands. God's not done with you. And you work in them, Lord. Where's my dad? Come. Come, sir. God's not done with you. Lord, you're touching this woman in a powerful way tonight. In a powerful way tonight. The fire of the Lord. Yes. Double portion, I pray, Jesus, upon his life. Let's do this. Those in the front, just lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you quickly. Such a gentle spirit tonight. One more time. Gentle spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Glory. Glory. Know your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Every heart's desire. Thank you, Lord. Every heart's desire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Impart fire. Impart your fire. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy. That day the yoke will be destroyed. Holy are you, O God? Are you Lord God? Almighty. Almighty. Jesus, thank you. Worthy. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Worthy. You are holy. You are holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your sweet presence. Worthy is the land. You are holy. You are so holy. Touch. Breath of God, breathe upon them, I pray. Worthy is the land. Receive that power. More fire, Lord, in Jesus' name. You are, you are holy. I love this hunger I see on you. Touch everyone, every prayer request shall be answered in the name of Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your sweet spirit, yeah. Thank you for your sweet spirit, Jesus. So holy are you, Lord. You can never have enough. Never enough, Jesus. Never enough. Thank you, Lord, for the 24-hour breakthrough. I'm going to ask Umana, get Uncle Mana here. Let's pray for Uncle Mana tonight. Give me a few more minutes, people. Let's forget about everything. God's here. You know, the power of God is so strong, nothing is impossible. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Michelle, what are you doing? Lord, thank you for this prayer. We stand in agreement. We crush the enemy's head tonight. In the name of Jesus. Do it because of her, I ask you in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for your power on him. Let him experience you like never before. Tonight I, I curse fear, depression, stress in the name of Jesus. Command it, loosen him, let him go in the name of Jesus. Lord, as I feel the fire of God, I ask you a fresh fire in his heart for your, for your work. Yeah, that's bow here. My God is bow here. Jeez. Tell him for me. He hears the crack is over him. Gee, that's bow here. My God, that's bow here. Devil, tonight, I break every hold over his life. In the name of Jesus. Look him so hand up here as he climbs on me. In the name of Jesus, I curse everything that comes against you. Jesus, power here.
trembling under the power of God. You felt they will let him go. You let him go tonight. World, you cannot have him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You fill him with your peace, with your love, with your joy. Come on, everybody pray. I pray the fire of God to touch him. Hit him from his head to the soles of his feet. Right now, right now, right now. Quickly, everybody, lift your right hand. There's, there's fire here. There's fire here. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a, a fresh fire. Every heart's desire to be met. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon him. Fire upon him. Visit him tonight. Come on, everybody quickly pray. Continue to pray. Your word says, whom the Son of Man sets free, is free indeed. Right now. Devil, you can't have him. Hell, you can't have him. This is what an encounter of God looks like. If there's anything I experience now, it's the love of Jesus. Thank you that you love him so much tonight. Lord, what I feel on me now, a double portion on him. quickly stand here come I'm going to just pray for you as you've ministered tonight are you Lord God Almighty worthy is the Lord I want to tell everyone as they come you can come out every night for prayer every night that's fine can you imagine what your life will be like after 30 days of this in tremendous glory of the Lord are you Lord God Almighty? Such a gentle spirit of the Lord here tonight. Worthy is the Lamb. Don't worry about it, George. You come. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Father, as they've ministered to you, I thank you. That your presence will touch them. And in the realm of this glory, I feel nothing is impossible for them. <laughs> Where the is the land, you are holy. It's all that side. Holy. Stretch your hands towards them. Are you Lord God? Fresh fire. Importation. Where the is the land. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are holy. Holy. Every need we met. Are you Lord God Almighty? Can we switch to that camera? Yes, we are there. Keep there. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Jesus, thank you. Amen. Jesus, thank you. What can we say? Thank you. Thank you for your presence. We will never be the same again. Thank you for your glory, for your miracles. As every eye is closed. I believe God says a, great, a greater glory. A greater glory 
shall be released in this final hour. Lord, thank you, Every day is different. You can't speak about the Gabbat glory and not experience it. Just close your eyes and forget about everything. And just for the next two minutes, just breathe in that presence of God. Everybody, Lord, from the stage, every single one there in the back, in the music room, in the mother's room, in the children's room, let him experience the kabat. Every eye closed, every hand lifted. Just two minutes, just two minutes. Let's just, the children, please. The glory of the Lord is here. Thank you, Jesus. For your God, glory. What my prayer for your children is, this generation will not go lost. I ask you, there will be some of them that will be greatly used by God for their generation because of tonight. I pray for them. Let your glory rest upon them forever and forever. Your glory to rest upon them. Your glory, Lord. Your glory upon them, Jesus. Protect them. Keep them as the apple of your eye. In the name of Jesus. Use them for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your power on these kids. They will know your power. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, bring peace to this small heart, I ask you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory upon these kids. In Jesus' name, they will never depart from you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Okay, take them. Thank you. What a presence of the Lord tonight. This is night six. I don't know where we're going to end. Hear me, I want to encourage you. Keep exposing yourself to the glory. There's more to the Lord. And it comes because of hunger. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Sunday morning, 10 a.m. We're going to continue. Bring the sick. I believe that God is going to do incredible miracles 24 days that we are still have. I don't know how you say goodbye. So don't tell each other goodbye. So there's some of you that want to go, you can go. There's, uh, I think the kitchen is open. If you want to stay a little bit in the presence, more than welcome to. We love you. See you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m.